Hold still. There it is. There it is, boys. All right, the time is now. Remember, no bitch niggas, no snitch niggas. Our target is the outpost. They got crossbows, apparently. But guess what? They got crossbows. We got a fucking shield. We can hold ourselves down. Lyra says, calm down, little nigga. I know, it probably isn't even something that I should be that worried about. What if I get in there and it's something that we could have done when we had, like, just a stone sword and shit? We came there kind of decked out. But you know what? I'm not scared. I'm not a bitch nigga. It's about time, man. Practice your aiming, Etika. Make sure you crouch during the entire time you're at the outpost to ensure that they do not hit you. Is crouching really that big of a... It's about to be nighttime? I don't know about doing the outpost when it's nighttime. How are you today, Etika? Uh, I don't know about... Well, you know what? No time like the present. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking do this. Let's do this and clear the fucking outpost out before the monsters show up. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to run up on everything that's in there. We're going to clear the whole bitch out. We're going to clear the whole bitch out. Etika, go sleep and then go there. Sleep. No bitch niggas. Oh, man. No, no, no bitching. No bitching. I'm going in. We're taking the outpost. Hey, come here. Come here. Who are you? Ow! They do a lot of damage! Not today! Ow! Okay, we're gonna take him out. Ow, I'm getting shot up! Okay, let me be careful. Let me be careful. Let me be careful. Let me not be stupid. Let me not be stupid. Oh, he shot his boy. Ow. Oh, I can make him shoot his boy. Dumbass. Why are you shooting yourself for? Why are you shooting yourself? Why are you shooting yourself? This is nothing. I can take this. This is no problem. Ow. Ah, stupid. Squidward sounding as, I got this. I got this, bro. This is nothing. Okay, what the fuck is this? They got scarecrows out here? Bro, what are they trying to do? Make an example? What was my, I bust this down, bro. Nah, new nigga in town, bro. There's a new nigga in town. New badass in town. I got this. All right, how do we, how do we run up? How do we run up? I'm walking right in. Oh! Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. You ran up on me. Ow! There's a lot of these niggas. Holy shit. There's a lot of them. Block the house off. Block the house off. I'm rated. Yo, hold on. Block the house off. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We kind of... We kind of... Whew. All right, there's strategies to this. I got to remember that we can just build our way around here. So I'm going to put some light in this bitch. You hear how many there are out there? Don't kill a pillager with the damn banner. What do you mean? Bro, okay. We can wait them out here. I can walk in and see what's, what's good up here. Oh, there's nothing going on. There's nobody inside the house. Look how many of them there are. Wait, how many? There's two of them? Nah, I'm good, bro. Y'all can hold on to y'all crossbows. Let me put a light up here. Oh, we're all out? Just run in and block them off. Don't kill the guy with the flag behind his back or you will get a curse. What? Then how do I fight him? Spin dash them. You're Sonic. Kill all of them, banner or not. Just br drink milk afterwards? I need a bucket for that, don't I? All right, let's see here. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, these niggas is bitch made. These niggas is bitch made. Oh, I'm taking everything. Bottle of enchanting. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, y'all got a bunch of shit in here. Hold on. Let me let me raid up. Yeah, man, this is my crib now. I probably build a bed here and claim this for myself. 
Whoa! How do they know my area so well? Or know where I am? Whoa, what's that? What's this? Whoa. Homing attacks? Take the chest? Oh, yeah, let me, let me do that. Let me beat this thing down. I'm taking everything, bro. I'm pillaging everything. I definitely couldn't have done this solo. Look at how many they are. They're, they can snipe me from that far away. Look at how many of them there are. Holy shit. All right, we got the stuff. We got what we, we came here for. The banner? It's a banner. Should I take that too? We already got a bunch of stuff on us, so I don't know. If you kill one with a banner, you'll get an effect called Bad Omen, which will trigger a raid if you walk into a village. It can be cured with milk. Dude, check out the loot. Nah, give me the loot! I got the loot. We good. I'm gonna run to the house. The curse summons a full-blown raid. Make that as your home. They keep generating infinitely? How do I stop them from generating? All right. We got the stuff. Now we need to head home. Home is this way, right? Look, wow, there's so fucking many. Home is that way? This way? I'm confused, man. I don't remember exactly. Well, it's probably towards where I blocked the door off. I can figure it out if I get down there. Just sleep. Raids are good. You can get a ton of stuff if you win. Just find a village. Okay, so I know I came in from this away. Because I remember seeing them pop in from there. So they can spawn inside too. Be careful. Holy shit. All right. I'm going to try to break this down. I'm going to run away. Run away. Run away. It's time to run away. It's time to run away. Get back to the crib. Get back to the crib, nigga. That's the only priority right now. Survival. Get back to the crib. Go, 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 go. All right. I mean, we're, we're good. I mean, I have the shield. We should be good. I shouldn't be dying. Chill in the tower until it's daytime. Train your fighting skills. I don't know, dog. I just want to get back to the crib with all this loot. I'm not trying to die out here with all this in hand. All right. We found, yeah, we found the little, we have little highlights to at least keep us on the path in case we get thrown off. Bitch, nigga. No, listen, bro. I came in there for one thing. I wanted to see what kind of loot they had. I raided the place. I'm good. Build up. <laughs> Going up. Elevator, boys. I don't give a fuck. And besides, why waste all of my armor and weapons fighting them when I can just, you know, use them to get the fucking good stuff and then be out? All right. There's the crib. I got it in hand. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whoa, is that an Enderman? Can we kill him? Can we kill an Enderman? There's creepers! Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Whoa. 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 Make a roller coaster, Attica? You can do that? All right, where's the crib? Creepers are everywhere and you can barely see them thanks to the grass growing up. Don't stare at them. You should play on hard or normal. I think I'm playing on normal mode right now. All right, there we go. I found it. Ow. All right, back to the house. Almost there. Almost there. 
I've been begging the whole stream. Please view my 100 push-ups on Instagram. Hold on. I I don't know. Did you really do 100? Do these dudes even drop anything valuable? Hold on. I'm just a little bit on the nervous side right now. Let me just let me just see. What do they do these dudes drop anything? Or is it just ink? What do they drop? I didn't even pick it up. Well, you know what? For now, I'm just going to run to the crib. Put this shit in the chest. Yo, we made it. Yo. Niggas raided an outpost successfully. No problems. Crossbows. I don't give a fuck. I ran up in there. I took what I needed. Give me the loot. And I dipped the fuck out. Alt plus F4 for speed boost. You're trying to fuck me up, aren't you? Yo, we did it, boys. Look at all this shit that we got. We got this thing. What is this? A bottle of enchanting. What does this do? What will it do if I drink this? Hit the hammer with... Hit them with your hammer, my boy. What does this do? You did it. Yo, I'm down. I got it. Let me, let me put all this shit away. Wheat. You know what? These niggas barely even had anything. I mean, not to disrespect... Whoa, whoa. What's that sound? Drink it, throw it at your feet, it will level you up. It'll give you levels. Hey, hold on a second. That was a lot. We just got 10? Nice. Oh, I'll take it. Um, let me put away some more of this stuff. I got a lot of crap on me. Ink sack. What can you do with an ink sack? Can you eat it? What's the point of killing octopuses if you can't eat them? I don't know. Hmm. Anyways, we got another chest, so I'm going to put this one next to ours. And at least I'll be able to hold on to more stuff now. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. Boom. I put the some of the stone away in there. Actually, no. We need this. You can use it to make dye. You can make a map. Oh. Dye your bed and wool. Oh, wait a second. Can I just do it like this? Nah, I guess not. I gotta fucking do it in a different kind of way. Make leather clothes? Whoa. That's possible? Put the chest next to your other chest. Oh. Oh, yeah. You can make a double chest. I forgot about that. Boom. Boom. Hold on a second. That's a big fucking inventory right there. I like that. I'm going to put some of this stuff in there. Some of the wood stuff. We don't really need that. Some of this. These niggas barely had shit. Some carrots and wood. These niggas ain't got nothing. What are they even in? What are they even defending in there? All the crossbows. All the bodies. For what? Some carrots, nigga? Some string? How valuable is string and carrots? Come on, man. I'm going to take this. I'm going to put this in there. And we're going to cook up some of this. We're gonna, we got some of this raw pork chop, too. I keep hearing rain, and I keep thinking that it's the sound of a fucking creeper. Get your bed and put the ink sack in the crafting table next to your bed. Oh. It's not doing anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what does this do? Black dye? Whoa. Whoa, that's interesting. Okay, and now black bed. Oh, interesting. And now we got a black bed. But I got to, oh, I got to wait until the shit. You put cooked food in the furnace. Oh, whoops. I'm so tired, but I want to keep watching. I might fall asleep while still watching. Well, don't worry. We're, we're probably going to stop the single player stuff soon. And then we're going to go into the... I'm going to try the server out, man. I want to see. 2B2T won't work. The queue is at 360 right now, and it's way too long. An EWN bed? Yeah, we got the fucking black hearts in here, man. That was pretty simple to make, though. 
I mean, I don't think it's as fancy as like a red bed would be at this point. Don't you need like dye from like the red flowers or whatever? It would be interesting if you could mix it up and have a multicolored bed. What's the rarest ink out there? Like the rarest dye that you can have? I just blacked my bed, yeah. We got, our bed is ready for Riley Reed now. Etika, 2B2T animals are existent, so use a fishing rod in 2B2T. It's essential to survive. I'm going to invite you to my realm. Click on it on the main menu. No realm with the boys today. Bro, to be honest with you, I'm feeling like it's like today was just a single player day. But tomorrow, I'm planning on streaming Minecraft again. We're going to be going late night again, but I might just do 2B2T all night tomorrow, you know? Dude, I didn't think that it would take me this long to get shit done on here, but I feel good. At least we have something. At least we have something set up, you know? What time is it? These sound effects need to chill. They, they seem to happen at the times where you least expect it. You can mix different colors together to make new dyes. The rain damages Endermen, but if you piss one off, they can teleport inside, inside of your crib. It's late night. I don't know if I feel like doing Realms or, or 2B2T tonight. I might save those for tomorrow night. Because I'm planning on streaming tomorrow. Listen, if you're here watching me right now, if you can see this, I am planning on streaming tomorrow. So you can just come through. I'm going to try to stream a little earlier, though. Because streaming at 9 p.m., it just seemed like kind of late in, a, in the first place, you know? Not everybody was able to even watch. People were like, oh, 9 is like... So if I stream tomorrow, it's Sunday. It's going to be a little bit of an earlier day. I won't be watching a Smash Brothers tournament in the earlier day. Because it, it was like MomoCon was going on. And that kind of took a lot of my attention. So if we stream tomorrow, it's probably going to be like... I don't know. Maybe like around 6. Maybe like 5 or something. 5 Eastern time. All right? You lied? No, I'm not lying. I just didn't realize that single player would take me so long, bro. We got we got caught up. But it makes sense, though. I mean, to have a theme for everything, at least, if you go on 2B2T, use a hacked client and buy a priority queue. You see, all this stuff seems like a lot to go into tonight where we're already... I'm already fucking spent as it is with just doing all this stuff. Watch the 2B2T video. Yeah, you know what? I do plan on doing that. I do think I can do that. That's for sure. But for now, I think I'm going to end the single player stuff. I'm going to end that. I think we're good. But we have the realm stuff and we still got the I, this look man, we'll be able to get this stuff done tomorrow. I just didn't know that it would take so much effort. But you know, I wanted to be safe. I didn't want to run up to a a new foreign object in this new game. Well, this feels like a kind of a new game in a sense and not have a way of fighting my way out of it, you know. Let me close this too. Oh. But don't feel bad because you definitely achieved your goal in getting me to check out what the server is all about. Let's see. So we have some videos now. That was fun. That was fun. I had a good time playing it. It was scary as hell shit, but I had a good time. Let me see. Now we have some meme videos that we got to check out. Of course. You don't know how much relief I felt closing that game. It's like... All the fear that it incites in you with the sound effects, with the monsters, and on top of everything, with the fear of fucking dying from falling from these crazy heights all the time by overestimating how far you can jump. That happened to me twice or three times, I think. Altogether, Minecraft is such a stressful experience, but it's fun to watch, and it is fun to play when you achieve stuff, but it's not fun to play when you're constantly dying, losing your items, and having to run back to where you were in a foreign place where you don't even have a sense of direction, really. That's why everybody telling me about the coordinates thing. I, I get what you were trying to do. I know it would be helpful if I was able to keep track of it, but right now, just playing it vanilla, fresh off the motherfucking block after years of not playing it, it just wasn't, an, I, my brain wasn't working well enough to keep track of all the coordinate stuff as it is. Maybe if I could copy and paste the coordinates and put them somewhere in like a document so that way I can have them to know. A person spent two days in Minecraft VR. I saw a little bit of that video. Let's take a little bit of a look at this video. This is from Yoshi Killer 2s I just wanted to inform you guys that I went on and shaved my pubic hairs and it literally feels like my dick has gotten bigger. Um, if this is the fucking case, I encourage every goddamn guy to shave. You know, that's actually a fact. I've, every time I shave my pubes, I recently shaved my pubes. And, yo, getting hard now is like, whoosh, damn, nigga. Many viewers are falling asleep now, Etika. Yeah, I know. It's about time. 3 a.m. is pushing it, man. I feel like this is late night. 
I thought we were going to go 3 a.m. and be able to fit in the single player with maybe a realm or two or the queue, but right now it's too much. But, but here's the thing. We're not going to do single player tomorrow. When we stream tomorrow, we're either going to start off with 2B2T or we're going to start off with the realms. I mean, there's so many options here, but I'll make it so that yeah, the stream will be kind of themed for it. So it'll be literally, oh, Minecraft Realms today. And I'm going to be choosing who the fuck I play with tomorrow. Uh, it's definitely, Too Mad is definitely going to be one of those people if he's still around. Can we watch that video? No, we definitely are. Let me finish watching this meme video that Yoshi Killer sent me. If they're fucking pubic hairs. Like, no I've seen this dude. Didn't he make the video talking about that he was about to beat a kid's ass? I, I noticed how when I was sitting down about to jack off to some motherfucking Vanessa Blue, um, I could literally hold on. Who's this? Vanessa Blue? Whoa! 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 Vanessa Blue was the stage name of a pornographic actress and actor. She was inducted into the AVN Hall of Fame in 2013. Damn. Okay. Anal? Let me add that to my list. God damn. Yo, shout out for the suggestion, my boy. Anyways, let me let me get back to the video. Let me get back to the, the meme. We feel like Irish Panda says Vanessa Blue is fire. Hold on. She's she seems like she is, but Jada Fire is always gonna be my top um ebony actress, man. Jada Fire, when she had the braces, man, was one of the cutest things you can imagine. Well, there's so many. There's so many the fucking diameter in my fucking cock like fucking big as shit i'm like that's how it feels holy fucking shit like so what i did was i went to my fucking closet and i bust out a fucking protractor from the time i was in fucking geometry back huh? in losing in high school and um this dude i measured um, i measured my cock with a protractor and also a ruler and no lie my fucking dick grew about maybe like half an inch shave your fucking pubic hairs helps your dick get bigger it now i can't even argue with that every time i've shaved mine i've always felt as if wow like i really do have a little bit of extra length in there it's kind of like a, it's like a visual effect in a sense because you can't really see all of what you got if you got a and, and i'll look it may be a little bit tmi but your boy tends to get a little bit bushy so yeah, it, it kind of helps. And not to mention, here's the main reason why you want to shave your pubic hair, though. Not necessarily just for the length, dog, but it makes it so you don't smell as much. I mean, it's summertime. Listen, we're all guys here. I mean, most of us are guys here. I, I think a lot of the time when we sweat, it, it gets caught in the hair. So if you shave the hair, then you don't have the sweat as much. You don't stink as much. I mean, I know I stink a little bit after all the sweat that I have from stressing out over the Minecraft shit. But you know what? A quick shower after the stream will help me to fix that. So, yeah. No flat top down. A, f a pubic hair flat top? Ew. No, thank you. Nah, you can definitely to be continued on that thought. I'm going to bed, boys. Dragonfire, man. Thank you for chilling in the stream. It was a fun ex Etika, did you like the Minecraft experience? It was fun. It was stressful. It was anxious. And I don't think I've been that scared playing the game in a long time, but I had a good time. Getting that outpost done felt so invigorating. I, I literally feel like a god after that shit, man. It's like I ran in, raided the place, ran the fuck out. Killed a couple people, didn't even give a fuck. The shield. Now, here's the thing. If I didn't have that shield, if the chat hadn't suggested me to make a shield, and I just ran in there with the sword and the armor, I don't know if I would have been as successful. Because literally, I'm holding back and pulling with the shield in hand, and those niggas wasn't able to hit nothing. They were just boom, oh, ow, 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 stupid. Stream's about to hit six hours and 40 minutes. That's a long time. It's the longest stream I've done in a while. Bro, you got Smegma? No, I don't. I, <laughs> I'm i part of the C team, okay? No Smegma for me, no dick cheese, but who cares? I mean, look, man, it doesn't matter what team you want. Just play the best that you can, you know? Yo, I forgot what I linked from Yoshi Killer. Thank you, man. Yo, once again, Yoshi Killer, tonight you fucking showed out for me. Thank you so much. Are you gonna be joining me on the on, on the realm shit tomorrow? On the 2B2T shit tomorrow? Yo, if you are, man, let me know. It'll be nice to see all you guys out here. The Enchanted Wonder says, yo, this guy is still live. Props. Yo, props to you for still being in here. You're the one that's watching me in the first place, nigga. You're still alive? 
I told you guys, I slept late, so I don't mind sleeping late again. It's all good, man. The schedule's been fucked up. I forgot what I linked. What is this? Hey. Hey! 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 That shit slaps. That shit slaps. I gotta add that to the list. Hold on. Let me grab the link. Let me grab that link. Now this comes from the Silver Gunner King of a Tournament, um, King King of King for a Day Tournament thing that I had talked about before. Shout outs to Silver Gunner once again. It just seems like you dudes are always going to be popping up on my streams no matter what. And I'm still subscribed to them. It's not necessarily like a bad thing that they upload so much. I can keep up with it. N word continue. Search the song Ebb and Flow by Kumu. Nah, I think we're going to wrap it up soon, actually. I I'm feeling a little on the tired side. And I still got to shower up and clean up. So it's all good. Let me close this link with this porn star. Let me close this Macross link. Let me close this link. Let me, cl uh, well, we have the Lupe Fiasco. Wait, Lupe Fiasco? Why Why did I search Lupe Fiasco? Oh, somebody had sent me this song earlier and I listened to it. Waiting. Well, oh, let me check this real quick. Don't delete the live stream after this? Leon, I gotta delete it, man. There's too much risk. I mean, I hope somebody saved it, bro, but this live stream is gonna have to be deleted. Thanks for spending the night with us, Etika. It was hella fun. Yo, listen. Green, I want experiences like this to make up the summer. I, I went through a lot to get to this stage where I'm feeling happy, where I'm feeling ready, where I'm feeling pushed to, sp to spend time playing games. I want to play near the way that we played Minecraft tonight. And they're so easy to do because now that with my new setup, I can literally set everything so perfectly where I can switch seamlessly. You saw how we were switching from the gameplay to watching videos back and forth like it was nothing? That's what I want, and I haven't been able to do that in a long time. It took me three months after moving in to perfect my setup, to perfect my buttons, to perfect my shortcuts to where I could do that stuff. And, you know, it took a lot of effort. A lot of stuff got caught up in the time, but, yo, it was fun, right? I enjoyed it. I had a great time. I want to be able to experience that more with my niggas, you know? So, hopefully in the future, y'all will be able to have some fun with me with that, too. We're going to be doing a lot of games, not just Minecraft. I want to do a bunch of stuff. This song is cool, though, man. I don't got a realm that I can join. Yo, realms tomorrow for me, at least. I got a realm that I got. It's only 10 people, though, so not everybody's going to jump on. But, you know, it'll be something. Um, Makos came through. Makos? Makaos? Thank you, Makaos. He's saying, Etika, I made you a skin for Minecraft. It ain't perfect, but here you go. Oh, that's nice of you. Let me check it out. That's just me in my underwear, dog. <laughs> I'm not that light skin, but it kind of works. I mean, I got the... I got the fucking tank top. That's that's sort of my signature look, I suppose, as a streamer. Thank you for that. You made a whole skin dex thing for it. I can actually make this my skin. You know what? I think I'm going... But then again, the hair. The hair I got to fucking complain about a little bit. You should have made at least one more block for the black. So that way it really signifies the flat top. But this works as well. I like the white short touch too. Even though I barely... Well, if I change up my shorts tonight, then I... You know what? I'm going to try to go for this look tomorrow. I'm going to wear my white um, house shorts, my white boxers, and I'm going to try to put on another black tank top. Not this one, though, because this one stinks. But, I mean, yo, the 2B2T reaction? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I got it right here. The face of Minecraft Anarchy. We did not get a chance to try this server out for ourselves tonight, but we'll get a little bit of a look-see as to what it has to offer. And so far, it looks insane. Every map... 
build, base, and player all have their own story and their own perspective on things. If I were to make an attempt at telling every story that there is to tell about 2B2T's history, not only would I what? get a lot of that information incomplete or outright wrong, I would be letting down an entire community of real people, real players. As an outsider looking in, what? all I can offer you is my perspective. Look at what they're tell building! You what it might be like for a new player to log on to the server for the very first time. I thought this server was anarchy i mean this doesn't really seem like it to me if it's truly anarchy and you have hackers and shit then how how are you able to get away with building such beautiful immense structures if everybody can you grief everybody and anybody or is it just pvp like if i build something will it get fucked up i don't know man i got a lot of questions for such a beautiful looking server it's all in survival mode no way as well as what you might experience in the short term, as well as in the wow. long term. Then, after that, wow. we're going to compare and contrast two extremes of the server. Oh. The spawn point and the builds themselves. The spawn point? As you might imagine of a quite active seven-year-old anarchy Minecraft server, the spawn area looks nothing like any Minecraft oh server you've ever seen. My. Oh my early god! Early lava, cobblestone, obsidian, and nether portals. If you were to try and venture oh. away from the spawn purely in the overworld, you very likely wouldn't survive. The spawn area has been ripped apart so devastatingly so that not a shred of wildlife or resources for food will likely be obtainable within the first thousand blocks or more of the spawn. What you did they- survive, you're This is insanity! Holy fucking shit! What did you spawn there? It looks like it's worse than hell. That's just that's the Badlands. What did they do? Wow. First night on 2B2T, on anything besides zombie flesh meat and handouts if you're lucky, you'll have to brave the nether and its expansive system of highways. Wow. If you're not familiar with this basic Minecraft mechanic, let me give you a quick refresher. For every one block you walk in the nether, you'll travel eight of those blocks in the overworld, which means the previously monumental task of escape. Someone says you have to not run. That way you escape the spawn so you don't lose hunger. Holy shit. Everything, Etika. They did everything. They did just about anything. How do you expect me? You were going to throw me in there tonight? You bastards. Keeping the spawn area via the overworld isn't as monumental if you utilize the... Hold on. Let me let me download um, that skin that uh, Machaos had given me. I just want to make sure I have this for tomorrow. Thank you so much, Mikaos. I appreciate you, brother. I got it saved up right now. I'll upload this to my um, skin index in a little bit. Thank you, man. Holy fucking shit, this video is making me nervous. Oh, yeah, I got this one. I'll save this Jonah Lucas thing for tomorrow. Another. It's still a difficult task, but if you're ready to endure the onslaught of older players looking to cry, you can play. Master of Doom says you can play it in VR for true hell mode. No, no, thank you. VR Minecraft already looks bad enough from what that dude did over 24 hours. Any newer players, as well as the task of finding the on, utilize what? the escaping the spawn area via the overworld isn't as monumental if you utilize the nether. It's still a difficult task, but if you're ready to endure the onslaught of older players what did he looking censor to crush there? any newer players, as well as the task of finding food before you starve to death, you just might make it. But as I said before, 2B2T has no rules whatsoever. If you die to a player who snuck up on you at crazy fast speeds, using auto-aim with full enchanted diamond armor, that's just what life is on the server for No way. Player. How does it- For some older, more experienced How does it survive? Players, life can be much, much different on 2B2T. 
if you decide to play as a lone wolf for all eternity, a hundred thousand blocks or more away from spawn, your adventure might not differ far from typical survival Minecraft. But for those who decide to venture deeper into the world of 2B2T, that's where you find all this beautiful shit. When players band together for the greater good, are simply breathtaking. Wow. So many of the structures that I've been wow. showing in the course of this video and continue to show off have been discovered and destroyed for one reason or another. Wow. People who just want to watch everything burn or over a grievance of some sort or for just no reason at all the point is they were built they were crafted by real players with their bare hands what players this are is crazy of, even in the most extreme environments given the most extreme circumstances no way that everything they've worked on might come crashing down at any moment for any reason hold on is this is a quote right here skeek skeek says you build on 2b2t Already knowing that your building is going to be destroyed someday, they usually go millions of blocks to make their bases, all done in survival mode. Holy shit kind of awe-inspiring. It shows a level of dedication that's absolutely unmatched anywhere else in Minecraft. That's why the Holy server is so shit. fascinating to me. It's real. While the spawn area might represent unfiltered chaos and destruction, and while it might be easy for me to just log in, look at spawn, assume the worst, and then make a quick video about it, I found it much more fun to get my hands at least a little bit dirty, so to speak. Throughout my short lifespan on 2B2T, while I definitely had my fair share of hatred and comments about people saying I should never make this video, I've also had a fair amount of support as well. And while my experience doesn't guarantee anyone else's experience, there's no doubting that what 2B2T has managed to pull off for over seven years is nothing this, short of astonishing. This is a miracle. Like I said how did you before, even? How do you band to together? Everyone's to, individual story. You on this you can be killed at any time during playing this but how do you manage to work together with people to build such marvelous structures server I'd very likely get more details wrong than I have words in this script each creation has their wow. own story each player has their own story and if they feel like sharing their stories I'll let them do that for themselves my only goal with this video was to give you a taste of what I feel is the most interesting server in Minecraft Elav, can I be a mod sure I got you there you go bro by a clear mile if you want to check out 2b2t for yourselves just remember the warning that i had just after the intro of this video wow. the chat on the server is raw and unfiltered wow and not responsible for you exploring this realm on your own if you're okay with all of this that, is making me I'll hard the ips in the description down below the first ip is for the server itself if after everything i've said you're still interested then go for it the second link is for the in-depth museum server full of all of the preserved builds that I filmed throughout the course of this video. Feel free to check that out as well if you want to see what players are capable of when they band together. Wow. So yeah, this has been a video that I've wanted to make for well over a year now, and I feel that now is finally the right time for me to do so. Holy shit. I am bra mode right now. This... This server is going to be absolute chaos, but to be honest with you, it sounds like a Joy-Con Boys classic in the first place. I can't wait. Tomorrow is going to be insane, but for tonight at least, I'm about to head to bed. It's been a fun night, boys. It's We went until 3.17. I don't know how long we were streaming for, but even, I could still go a little bit longer now, but I don't want to deny myself a sleep for tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow in the AM. Um... I'm going to be chilling for a little bit before I go to sleep. I got to fucking set up. Well, I got to set break down stuff rather. And I also got to go get some shower stuff done, man. I, as you can tell, I'm on the tired side, man. But um, yo, we didn't do the extra stuff tonight. We didn't do the realms tonight. We're not going to do single player tomorrow. Single player is already done for now. We're going to be doing either realms or 2B2T. Maybe we'll mix up the two things together. Maybe 2B2T first. Since, since, since it seems like a lot of people wanted to see me do that. And it feels like starting the stream off with 2B2T would be fun in the first place. That spawn looks chaotic. And to be able to do it with a bunch of people at my side sounds like some of the most fun I would ever have. Uh, Minecraft is always more fun when you mix people up in there anyway. So for now, guys, I'm going to see you. It was, uh, it was cool. Anything that I didn't play or watch tonight, I'm going to queue it up and save it for tomorrow. I got stuff here that I still need to check the fuck out. 
the Jonah Lucas shit I'm going to be checking out tomorrow. Catch me here tomorrow at around like maybe 6 p.m. Eastern. I'll be doing my thing. So once again, guys, I appreciate the love tonight. It was insane. The fucking contributions, the chat, everything about tonight seems so fun. It felt so genuine. It felt so real. Um, even though Minecraft and me don't have a great history, Etika hates Minecraft. But you know what? Minecraft kind of gave me a big smile tonight and I enjoyed it thoroughly even though I had a lot of frustration as well. I'm sure you have a lot of rage moments that you're probably going to be clipping and using. Just try not to make me look too bad, okay? But anyways, I'm about to be out. I had so much fun. It's always a blast. Um, I want to do stuff more consistently with games and shit, and I now have the ability to do so on the tech side and definitely on the mentality side and oh so much on the spiritual. But until then, till tomorrow, I will see you later. Remember, like around 6 p.m. Eastern. If I don't get it done at 6 p.m., I'm going to try. I'll be trying to give updates on Twitter. Um, definitely go and follow my Twitter if you guys haven't already. It goes by the same moniker that it always has been, always will be. It's Etika, E-T-I-K-A. Um, also hit up my IG if you want. I know there was a nigga that said I didn't watch his um, 100 push-up video on IG, but right now I'm too tired, man. I got to break it down. But tomorrow we'll be streaming, so just join me tomorrow. It's Sunday. You ain't got nothing better to do, right, nigga? I'll see you boys. Remember, you have the creative ability to do whatever the fuck you want. Man made everything that you're seeing in front of you. He made this mic, he made this chair. So guess what? You can make yourself what you want to be out there. I'm trying to be a little motivational. I'm trying to be inspirational. You know what I'm saying? Uh, technically speaking, yeah, I know I use some crazy terminology sometimes, but don't think of it in the literal sense. Just think of it in the metaphorical sense. You, my friend, are a beautiful god and hopefully you're going to be here tomorrow to make me have a beautiful fucking chaotic experience with this 2b2t shit because i know half the people that are watching are probably going to be playing it with me anyways for now i'm gone i'll see you guys later all right peace out it's time for me to get some rest i had a lot of fun though nigga good shit very very good shit i didn't realize that i would have so much fun just fucking playing single player Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to try to get some liquor so that way I can actually catch up on some celebratory shots with my boys. So yes, we're going to be partially drunk tomorrow, but it doesn't mean nothing. I'm still going to be awake. I'm still going to be wilding out on 2B2T. But um, yes, I will definitely have some celebratory shit. Y'all came through so heavy for me tonight. I got to make sure I turn up for my boys, all right? But anyways, I'll see you all tomorrow.